Let's just fucking begin. Um, <laughs> do you work in our IT department? Pretty much. Um, no fate solved. No fate. Solved. What? Fuck. Yeah. Begin. Right, Wendy. We're beginning. The game is the game is big starting. Okay. Lost at sea. Eighteen o three. The good ship Obradin. Fifty-one men. Last voyage to Orion. Cape Rendezvous. Unmet. East India Company. Anchors. Hmm. The Honourable East India Company. Attention of Chief Inspector. Insurance and claims the London office. The Obradin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. Sweeney Todd's ghost! Sweeney Todd's ghost! Um, the visual style of this game is pretty crazy and unique. Yeah, it definitely seems to be. It reminds me of like an Amiga game. Oh, Falmouth. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Obradin. Aye, oh, I didn't need ferry to the Obradin. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. When do I sit in 3D? I'm in Oh my days. That looks great, actually. I love that. Uh, the East India Company. Honourable is not the first word that springs to mind. No, I definitely agree. Uh, what's in the box? I don't know what's in the box. What's in the box? Uh, ahoy. Ahoy. We're going to, we're going to Simple Island. Pastry's, pastry's homeland. Um, there is bo there's porn in the box. Yeah, it's really cool looking, right? Oh, I can... Oh. Zooming in on that old man's box. Oh, that's a sentence I need to say. Um, what are the controls? Hello, sir? Oh shit, there's the Oberdin. Okay, oh, oh, it's actually like. There's a sail beside us, obviously? No, no. <coughs> Yar, I'm riddled with syphilis. That my penis <laughs> looks so. <laughs> It looks like a badly made whistle, indeed. But uh, yeah, let's let's climb up the Oberdin. Let's, I guess. I love the look of this game. Do you? Yeah, it's great. It's simple, perfect. Yeah. Think can change some of the visual style settings. Yeah, I did actually do that earlier on by accident and changed it to like. Um. Other other settings, other looks, right? So we're on the Obradin. Wendy, where would you like me to report to you first? I think we're basically in the insurance officer checking the Obradin to try and find out what's happened because it went missing and then it's turned up again. The cabins. Yeah, so we're not going to check the wheel, we're going to check the cabins. I'm going to follow Wendy's orders to the letter here, people. Oh, well, we can check the wheel. No, no, no. We want the cabins, we'll go to the cab. I just think there'll be more evidence in cabins. Yep, more evidence in cabins. I, I guess the cabins are through here. We're in a cabin. No, we're in a cabin. I trust what you, Morbo. That? Let's, let's team up! Oh, God, no! Why, Morbo? Why? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I love Wendy can now hear the sound effects now, so uh, she is equally like, what the fuck just happened? Um, <laughs> safe away from Wendy's poop deck, you scallywag. <laughs> uh, run naked into the... Oh. The gentleman is shouting us that it's too heavy. I think we just left him dragging our, our stuff up. Oh. Sorry, dude. Sorry, what's... Wait, where's he gone? What's too heavy? What the fuck's he talking about? You rock, rock, walk right past the dead body. Take it yourself or open it here. Oh. 
Uh, I'm trying to. I've got a book. I meant to say earlier, you inspired me. A cam. I was a brave girl. Finn, I did see. You look glorious. I have, I have friends. As always. Um, and a book. You're a brave girl indeed. A book. I have friends in a book. Return of the Obra Dinn. A catalogue. Adventure and Tragedy. 1807. I'm reading. I'm being a brave boy, just like Finn was a brave, brave lady. Preface. Preface? Fuck me. Preface. Prefaced. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I mean, I'm sat beside it, but that's fine. Um, I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. Let me just catch up with everyone fucking rinsing me for being shit at reading. I walk past a dead body, apparently. It is a cool art style. Um, uh, pre -fa pre faced, unfaced. <laughs> Filling the teacups just straight out, got the knives. Um, can Wendy hear the sound clips as loud as you can? Because they're just as. Uh, just a little cruel as someone uh, cruel if someone punches you. Shut up and take my money. What? Author V Author V, thank you very much. Jesus fucking wept, they're so loud. Um uh, also there was an Author V randomizer that's needed twice, but Author V, thank you very much. Before we do that, thank you very much for twenty one months subscribed, Author V. I greatly appreciate you. You're an absolute diamond. And one of my black brothers. Um, I very appreciate you and thank you very much. It's always appreciated, never assumed. And let's have two or three randomizers. Lexi is my ideal woman. I'd love to eat her spaghetti hair. Legit. I sucked on him last night. That's an old bastard. Oh shit, you got a free bastard because I leaned on the button. Author the redeemed 10 press ups. Um, I'm, I'm legitimately going to send those back, Author V, because um, I have I have like some of the ills still, and I want to not cough through this stream. <coughs> I'm a helpful and capable person, you are indeed. Uh, I'm dying, and you can't uh, write for long. Let me elaborate exactly how I can't talk for long, and then perish due to the second. Exactly, that's exactly what happened. So I'm going to come here. Um Wendy can do them. Wendy, you have to do 10 press ups, apparently. No, I've got the L's as well. She's got the L's as well? Get fucked. Um, so, if someone could just redeem them in the mod squad, I'd greatly appreciate you. Um, Grace just said, make Wendy do them as well. No, no, no. We tagged out. Um, <laughs> um, anyway. I am. Um, Oh my god, there's 29 things, please. Look, Cowley Pastry, I don't worry myself. We're going in there and checking and tidying every little thing. <laughs> Sorry, Pastry. Um, the next few pages will seem bewildering at first, but will make sense in time. I use, uh, use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Okay. Um, complete each chapter accurately and return to the book by... Um, Turn to the book by guaranteed post to the French office uh, of affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I um, possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. The journey, the ship, the crew, life at sea is a sketch. The glossary... Okay, fucking hell. There's a lot of bigger reading here. There's a lot of fucking reading. Um, that's why I don't look. Pastry, just press A, Rob. I think we have to... Oh, there's some, there's some pictures. It's okay, there's some pictures. Uh, Atlantic Log. Uh, that's, the, that's the route they took. Um, they went from Cornwall with a pasty down past Spain to Madeira where they picked up some cake. Canary Islands, where they filled up on canaries. 
uh, Cape Verde, where they probably just went and got shit faced and clubbing. Um, and then they carried on down after they've been clubbing to somewhere in the tip of Africa. I love a, I love a glass of Madeira. Yeah. Um, plans for the decks of the Oberdin. Okay. Captain's cargo. Nice. Uh, went and got some Ben and Jerry's. That's a good shout. Um, I went nine, uh, I want nine series, please. Oh, sorry. Rob solving a murder mystery, uh, shows up to the mansion, looks, looks at everyone, lights a pipe. Fuck it. The Baron did it. I don't like this moustache. Right, I'm off for a kebab. <laughs> that sounds like a... That sounds like a series I can get behind more delicious for 110%. Right, complete passenger manifesto. Let's see who did it. Um, Alfred Castile, I think, did it. What a cunt. Um... Oh, Henry Evans apparently as well was involved. What? A, what a fuck. Um, yeah, surgeon, surgeon's mate, a butcher, a gunner, helmsman, an artist, Edward Spratt, Killsteel, whatever, Killstealer, exactly. Alfred Killstealer, that's the one. Found Roger the cabin boy yet? No, not yet. Uh, Emily Jackson. Sorry, Miss Jackson. You're dead on the boat. Um, it been sour. I'm not going to try and read these because that would just be racist. Jonathan Davis is immortal. Confirmed. He is. Um, Thomas Lanky. Very nice. Top man. Wheelie. Wheelie is the top man. And there's lots of seamen on board. But we are having fewer mentions of that, so we're not going to mention that. Uh, okay. Sketch of life aboard the Oberdin. People are playing dice games. Probably liars dice with ads. Rob didn't mean that, and he's a jolly good chap. No semen called semen stains? No, not that I can see. Um, that hey, guy has got some great fucking sack. name jobs. Woo! Uh, more mentions just due. 2022, that's the one. Um, yeah, that guy with the lamb chop seems to be, like, getting on with this this bird here. Um, I reckon there's some stuff going on there. What's long and hard and dull of semen? Uh, yeah, full of. I, I think you, yeah, submarine, sir. That guy's getting strangled. But uh, it, well, that looks nice. it looks like he's being strangled by himself. Yeah. That guy doesn't look very, very happy. She's a skeleton. Neanderthal. Skinhead. I'm just a really happy lad drinking a, drinking a little bit of a little bit of a booze. It's a submarine. It is indeed a submarine. Good. Sort of swear words. It's okay. Word goobering is common here. Indeed. I fuck that shit up all the time. Formosi Formosan royalty? Okay. Got some weaves on board. Justice at sea, oh fuck. Someone got... That's not very... Like, you could just fucking tie him up and kick him off the boat, but they tied him up, bagged him up, made them levitate, and then fucking shot them out of the sky. What the fuck? What's this guy doing down here with the Which one? The top, uh, bottom middle. This one? Yeah. Uh, I think he's just got, like, a weird oh, face. He... Um, I don't know. He looks kind of like Chunk from the Goonies. Not Chunk. 
Sloth. Brain egg scrambled, yep. Yeah. Indeed, that guy looks like he's up to no good. And they're like playing, they're there doing the conga. Right. Loose cargo. Nothing. Part two. On the cargo deck. Right. A bit cold. On the top deck. A bit of cold, apparently. Uh, honestly, life on board the ship seems like a standard D&D game so far. It does indeed. Uh, I swear uh, my ability to write and converse has dimmed since moving to Norfolk. It's how it happens. Welcome. Um, if you think it's overkill, you should hear uh, <laughs> what they did to Oliver Cromwell. Yeah, murder. There's a few sections for murder. Outside the first mate's window. The calling. Right. I think this is all stuff that we're going to be filling in the book. Right. I think we How do you get out of the book? How do you chew? Get out of the book. I have, I have friends. Um, and a book. Oh, skim through the entire book first, it says. Sir. Keep going, Robert. Oh, oh, hang on, there's a thing there. Nice. This chapter will remain unknown. Oh, this chapter. There we go. Oh. Right, okay. We don't have, we don't have nerd looking. Let's go up and look for some people. Oh, and this is a stopwatch where we can tell people who, what people are when we find a dead body. Memento mortem. Remember death. I mean, are you gonna, gonna come with us, pirate lad, or are you just gonna stay here? Up we go. We were doomed from the start, Maelstrom. Doom. Well, apparently there's a dead body that we missed, uh, Wend. Dead body? Where? Apparently. Oh! Yeah, there is a fucking dead body right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> How did I miss that guy? Whoops. Right, apparently if I can... Oh. Oh. Oh, we've twizzled. Oh, we actually get little cutscenes when we find bodies and stuff. Ah, lest we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may take exactly what I give you. Bastards. Oh, so the captain shot this guy. Oh. Solved. It was the captain. You can't see who it is, actually. There you go. It was that guy with the moustache. Oh, okay, oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's having a, that guy's having a sad time and he had an axe. And there's the guy with the, the hat and the... Oh, it's the guy with the, the sideburns. Yeah, solved, indeed. Um, take the shells, he doesn't know... How to use three shells, indeed. Um, Captain did it, get your kebab, indeed you did it. Something flew off uh, really far behind. Oh. Yeah, he looked very fair. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I'm not done. No, oh, oh, oh. Obviously you only get a certain amount of time. <coughs> I don't know, but we've, we've found some stuff in the book. The end. So a guy got shot with a pistol after they got some Madeira cake. <laughs> Who is this and how did they die? Captain, location of the corpse, three others were present. 
unknown. Oh, do we know who that is? Ah. Oh, this is good. I'm intrigued by this already. Yeah. There we go. That was that was the guy who was there, wasn't it? Him. Yeah, he was the other guy there, yeah. That's that's why they've highlighted it like this. So it's the three people that were involved. So that was the captain. Oh, okay. This person appears to be blurred throughout the book. The blurring indicates you don't have sufficient information to determine their identity. Their fate is unknown. Carry on and pay attention. Their faces will become unblurred. That's pretty cool. So this person... Is it? Yeah. Oh! Click on the little cog at the bottom. Yeah, and then change the quality to... Yeah, click that. And then put 720p. Oh, much better, thank you. There you go. Um, the book, uh, I guess they're going to work backwards through this. Well, or we might just get it fed to us randomly. Um, but I would be tempted to say that this is the captain, but it doesn't necessarily say... Okay. Captain, open the door, kick it in. Well, so... How do we... Can we not just say that's the fucking captain? Yeah, true. True. Okay. Well, we can go back to the memory. We're back in the memory. Something that flew right off. Yeah. I'll bet it Alright. We'll go check that then. Yeah, so there's his axe. Oh, and there's the captain! Also in the bin, but when you want to check the the the, the, the doors, the, the, the other cabins first, so we'll just quickly go and check this cabin. Where there isn't no one dead in here. Oh, no, we don't have to. Hey, hey I'm, I'm quite happy to. That way we don't miss anything. Okay, this one's locked. Oh, okay. Hmm. okay, this one's also empty. It's very Pulp Fiction. Nice! The captain shot him while he's on the toilet. Okay, no one in there. Oh, there's a few dead bodies in here. Hang on, there's a drawer. There's a drawer? The, and there's a knife. Go back to that room. In here? No. Go, that's it, through here. One of those drawers was open. Is it? Oh, no, it's the lighting. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Right, so let's see what happened to this person. Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Oh, right, so oh. the person who we thought was the captain slashed this guy's throat, and this guy was the other guy who was outside. So this is Sideburns McGee. Um, and he's like proper giving the fucking good in. Um, the gun's fallen out of his hand. So we're just getting all of what's happened in this, this memory, basically. Yeah, he's out on the bin. Yeah, okay. So this is what happened after he... Mm-hmm. Making sure there's no one up there. Hiding. Okay. Wendy's camera is very blurry, you see. Okay, hang on. I'll, I'll try and sharpen it up in a second.
Okay. Well, this is again unknown. We don't really know them yet. We haven't got enough to go on. Oh, how can I? Oh, you can right click on them and highlight them. I'm pretty. I think he is the oh, captain no, now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, hang on. Well, I'm just going to turn off the main screen capture and try and sharpen Wendy's camera very quickly. Because Gracie said it's a bit blurry. So. Well. Right, hopefully that's a little bit better for you now. There we go. It's <coughs> best I can do. It's not it's not a fantastic camera. Right, so how do we leave this memoir? Uh pistol. Um you can't like highlight it now, because when you you right click on it, it highlights automatically. Yeah, it's more than four pixels now. I'm glad I'm going things there. Um, right, so okay, maybe if I just walk away, it will. Um, let's have a look. No, I can't see anything behind the table. Oh, hang on! Oh, look! What's that? Oh! Oh, uh -huh. ho What a good job! And that's that chap there. Fucking sneaky thief! Fucking sneaky stab lad. He's doing a famous drop attack. In his fucking sandals. Bastard. Right, the plot thickens. Um, I, I, I don't know. Redeem bastard. Dick Sharp, bastard. <coughs> one of my favourites. I heartily enjoy that one. Dick Sharp, bastard. Right, I'm assuming, like, for, for people who have played this game, do you, like, have to, like, stay in this until you've spotted all the shit they want you to see? Or... Um... Do you just skip out of it once you're done, or whatever? Right, so that guy jumped from up here, I guess. Right, are there more people around? Or is there a button you press when you actually just are done? Cheeky little monkey jumping over the stern, exactly. Cheeky little fella. Nope. Here's what happened last time. Aha! Yeah, I've gone through the door, wait. There we go, unfucked it. Nice. Okay, so now we've got this... What happened to the... the... the cap... Capitan. The captain put up a good fight. He's done, done two of them, Ed. Oh! Oh, it's not the captain. The captain, yet again, kills the fucking famous drop attack nerd and kills him with... I don't know what, like a... A, a pole, just a big pole. 
Oh, but he's been stabbed. Capitan been stabbed. That guy's that guy's in the bin. Oh, this door is open now. Oh, oh, and there's a lady that's asleep. Squelch, indeed. I shouldn't have said squelch while I'm standing next to this lady in bed. Um, it's just I was just reading Facebook chat. Everyone, just so you know. Any more cheeky little drop attack nerds? No. The question is, why is everyone trying to suddenly kill a captain? Oh, oh. <coughs> Bad luck to bring in a woman on board, apparently. Indeed, and to whistle and to travel, start a journey on a Tuesday. This other person was present. Uh, how did they die? Um, oh, yeah, we can answer how he died. Yeah. He was clubbed, yeah. I would say. Struck. He was struck, but... Why do you don't know whether that killed him? Um... Yeah, I would say... Clubbed... By an unknown attacker, by... Captain Will... Uh, Willerill? Do you want to put it by him? We can go back and do the other ones. Suicide. Yeah, Estoy clubbed. Club death. Okay, right, so that guy was clubbed, and then we'll go back into the other one. So that guy was stabbed, unknown, but they met their fate. They were. No, he was stabbed. His crime was cut, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh God. Alive? In Africa? No. Um, kill? Knifed? I think knifed would be. Yeah, knife is the most appropriate. Yeah. By the captain, who we assume is the captain anyway. And this gentleman uh, was shot. Yeah. With a gun. By. Robert Whirl. Witterall, sorry. Exploded, really? Apparently this is, apparently this is gonna go some places. Um to carry money uh to carry money to see um a cross eyed woman or nun or pig, indeed, or shoe an albatross. Um Right. Okay, so Fucking deed, deed. I definitely say that's clubbed. Let's have a last, last whip round. There's the lady. Oh, sweepy. Sweepy. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's her who was dancing. Struck by hooves, exactly. Don't fuck with Lynchy, that's that's how you die if you go after Lynchy, you get hoofed. Um right. Can't see anything else, so let's go into the the, the get the fuck out of the memory door. Right. Is there anyone else on the balcony that's dead? Oh, no. She's dead. I'm, I'm now going to go in the bedroom. I was just, and that might not be her. That might be the captain. Oh, she's also dead. Shit! Fucking bodies everywhere. Well, I'm assuming that's the captain, and he stumbled in there after him and stabbed. Potentially. Oh, I mean, I'm I'm enjoying this game already. Abigail. Team. Oh, yeah. My friend. Abigail. I shot him. Oh. Dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me.
forgive me. For everything. Oh. oh. El Capitan shot himself. He says he got stabbed and then just stumbled through and then shot himself in the chest. Not a standard one, but you know, that's fucking dealt with. Uh, Rob's earning so many kebabs. I am. Um, everybody's dead, Dave. Everybody's dead, exactly. So I'm assuming she's already dead in this scenario. Hmm. Okay, so he shot. Yeah, exactly. No, no stealthy sneakers. Um. Okay. Right. So, are we putting him down as the captain? Honestly, I don't know that he's the captain now. No, I don't think. So. Well, they were shouting to come into the captain's quarters. He, on the picture, he's got like a captain's hat on. Said, I'm sorry, I shot your brother. Maybe, maybe her brother was the captain, and that's why she's dead. She came calling to tell you that you know, we were shipping. What? Uh, so this person's no longer blurred, which means they can now be identified. Use the book and the book, the book and the pocket watch to gather the information. See, I would say, because he's wearing a captain's hat, and they called him a captain in the thing, we can just put him as a captain. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I, I fully allow that there could be shenanigans later on where the game tries to fuck us up. Right, so I would say... Oh, so who was that? The woman... Abigail. Abigail. Oh, yeah, that's the point. Maybe we did, they did get her name, didn't we? Yeah. Good shit, Wendy. And we can look for Abigail's brother's name. Abigail Whitrell, which is the name of the captain. So he's probably not Robert Whitrell then. I, I wonder whether he will be William Hoskett, who's the first mate, who would then become captain. But we'll, le we'll leave that, so we don't know. But he met his feet, fate, he shot himself. Yeah. El suicide. S suicide via spear. Fuck, there are some dedicated people on this ship. Right, so let's whip back through and just take out these. Was not killed by the captain. Was killed by an unknown person. Oh, come on. But maybe she will give the information of who that guy is. That means at this stage in this fight that they were already like the captain was already in the bin, and he was killed by this guy. Oof. Uh, a lot of people in the crew pictures are wearing fancy captain s cats. Mm, bastards. So many layers. So many layers. Like an onion. This game is an onion and a half. It's a pickled onion. Wendy loves it when I eat pickled onions. She loves it, especially like she loves when I have a pickled onion and give her a kiss. That's her favourite thing. Redeem the bastard button. Get the bastard yet. Get the bastard yet. We'll earn some kebabs and get the bastard. Bastard. Abigail. Well, that might not be Abigail. Well, he was talking to her. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can make that assumption. Oh, uh, no, wait, you have to go and have a look at her then. Yeah, we have to go and look at her with the, with the clock. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, find out what, how her death happened. Uh, 
Um, oh, so four people died in Madeira, is what we're saying. So that's what happened at the end. That was the last... The last fight that was happened is he committed suicide. So we found out the ending, now we need to work out the rest. Okay, so come on, Abigail. Shows you backstory. Martin! Oh, she got fucking beamed by a mast. Oh, my God, what were you doing above decks? What the fuck? She got beamed by a mast because they were being attacked by a giant squid. Either that or they got involved in some serious hentai. Um, there's also uh, another bearded chap with a hat. Um, this man, who may have been or may not have been eaten by a squid. This man is playing a sick guitar solo. Ah. Oh no! This guy with the tattoos, he. He is ripped in half. No, wait, 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 wait. No, I need. Oh, I needed more time. Release the kraken. I know, right? Didn't see that coming. No, neither did I. <laughs> the doom. So the doom was a kraken potentially in the Azores. Who is this? So this is. Abigail. Yeah. Uh, wherever the fuck she is. Oh, I'm sure just saw it. She in the 20s? Yeah. Passenger. And she was Hi. struck by a mast, I reckon, maybe? Uh, struck? No, not by no. Okay, so it wasn't struck. struck. Yeah, struck. No, because it was struck by either hoof, tail, oh. or wing. What the fuck happened? In this place is torn apart. Jesus Christ! Yeah, we can. Knife frozen, exploded, fell, expired, electrocuted, eaten, crushed yeah, by crushed. rigging. This may or may not be correct. Well, thanks, fucker. Um, any elevator puzzles coming up? Hopefully, I hope not. I really hope not. Fates validate in three seconds. Correctly identifying at least three people uh, and their fates to have information typed in the book. Fair enough. Right, so... Um, and she shouted, Martin... So do you think Martin's the other Martin yeah, Martin where's the captain, so that other guy is Martin. So this guy's Martin and I can hit tab to go into the book. Oh hang on. Is that him? Alright, oh no, so that's Martin. Is there only one Martin? He's the third mate. Um, is he? Yeah, if you go all the way to the top. Yeah. So we've got a Martin, but let's just have a make sure there's no other Martins. Like House Martin. Um. Yeah, he seems to be the only Martin. So that's Martin. Martin. 
Perot. Melton. What? Melton? Merton. Yeah. That is a superior spelling. Oh, for fuck's sake, Rob. What? What have I done, pastry? Melton? Melton Mowbray? Pork pies? I think they're talking about me fucking up earlier in a conversation. Um, but, anyway, that's Martin. Yes, okay, good. Fucking hell, you're confusing the shit out of me. Right, where is the other guy? Because this guy, with the fucking tattoos... Was it this guy? No. Where is he? Ah, uh, uh, him. Uh, yeah. yeah, him. Okay, so we don't know who he is. Yeah, but we can't mark him as being in the bin. Apparently, even though we know he's in the bin, we just... Uh, ten others were present. Ah, oh, can we mark? Ah, oh, wait a minute. Is the reason, um... Because technically she's not dead in that thing. Oh yeah, she's dead. She got fucking hit by Ridden. She's brown bread. But it says ten others were present, and it's not got that guy, so it's... Clubbed officer. He was there. Crushed by Riggin. They were there? Were they? Well, that fucking guy that we've just spoken about was there, and apparently it's not listed. Hmm, I'm confused. Beef dust. Steak atoms, indeed. Right, okay. I don't know how that dude is, but... Can we not... I just want to say that he's been fucking eaten by a kraken, damn it. This guy's probably been fucking eaten by a kraken as well. Space action. Ooh, shit. What the fuck have I done? Oh, okay, we're out. I have no fucking idea. I don't know. Oh. Oh, follow. I am following the. I'm following the, the beef dust. Oh, it's showing where he was. Yeah. Okay, so can I use that on him now? Oh! So because we found his dead body... Oh! Oh, off he goes! There's a few fucking people in the bin here. That guy's in the bin. This guy looks okay. Calamari, yeah, there's also a fucking shit going on. Well, that's Martin. Isn't it? Or is that no that's not Martin? Alright, Mr. Hansy. Riggin' in the rigging. And um, this chap who clearly wants some booze. Okay. We're shrinking. Oh, right, hang on. Let's, let's adjust the plums, chap. Oh, there we go. I think something about the pixels in this game is killing the bitrate of the chat and the webcams. Really? 
That's that's unfortunate. Hey, this is my ball sack. Woo! Woo! -hoo! Um, so in fairness, it looks not too bad on Wendy's. They're a, a bit crunchy, but it's not too bad. Um, right, unknown fate. Eaten, I guess. Torn, a, torn apart, maybe? By... A squid? The squid's not on the roster, okay, so it's not torn apart. Um... Eaten. By a beast. Actually, yeah, torn up, torn apart by a beast would probably be more right. Okay, so we've got what happened to him. We go out of that, and then potentially we can go back and then find out what happened to. Where was the other dead nerd? Oh, is that guy having a bad time as well? Actually, no, he looks like he's slashed to the thing. He's he's in the bin. There was another guy who was also in the bin. Wasn't there? Am I wrong? Oh, here we go. That person's already in the bin as well. Right, here we go. A bit of time twizzling. Tasteful chirping and birds in the background of that sound clip. Indeed. <laughs> Right, here we go. Smokes are leading me. Love the art style, indeed. Foo, 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 foo. It's the fucking splotchy dead guy. Hold on! Oh! <coughs> uh, people on this bone sure whined a lot. It did indeed. This guy... I mean, I'm assuming there's... Like an explosive that they've thrown and blown up that person there. There's some people having a rough time falling down into the decking. Oh, that's the guy that got ripped in half. So, obviously, the explosives they threw didn't really have a fantastic effect. Um, oh, there's a goat on deck. Good times. Actually, can I look at the goat and it'll show me some of the. Like, I can add that to the cargo? No? Sure. Hmm. How did they die? Um, I, I would say he was probably killed by the explosion. Yeah. Exploded. Done. By the way, everyone, um, thank you very much. 17 viewers that we've got tonight. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for turning up to the stream. Um, and I hope you've had a great weekend. Me and Wendy have had a lovely weekend. We uh, we went camping. Um, we went to a nature reserve. It was it was a great time. Um, and we really hope that you had a great time as well. One of the reasons why we're in a bit of a calamity because we got home, we ran back in, unpacked all our camping gear, 
frantically, like, um, I had a, a Discord meeting I had to attend. And then, uh, and then, th- then it was stream time. So, yeah, but the camping was great. And the potato went and did a bit of camping as well. He, um, he also got put in a giant wheelbarrow and, and, and raced around a field. He loved that. Uh, and then you realized, uh, you left Hadrian in the woods. It's fine, mate. You just come back, find him wearing a wolf pelt and he'd be ready for, ready for life. Um, yeah, okay, so that guy got exploded and is in the bin. And I have a feeling that the, when my, cl- my, um, my watch is vibrating, it means that there's more people who are dead that we can go and do stuff with. Because my watch isn't in my hand vibrating now. Unless Lynchy gets to him, that's very true. She'll take him to Lude Town. Dead in the bin. That's fine. Um, uh, potato buddy had fun. Uh, monkey, ah, oh. got to tell that story. So basically, Sawdust and Swearwords uh, came and visited not long ago, and Hadrian was wearing a t-shirt with a monkey on, and he was, we said, "Ah, oh, what's his name?" And he obviously knew his name, so he said his name, and he pointed at Hadrian and said, "Like, Hadrian, who's that?" And Hadrian just looked at his t-shirt like. Monkey? <laughs> I was like, oh, that is incredibly sweet. But you're not called Monkey. <laughs> okay, so we have dead lad there, dead lad there, who are dead of squid. Um, I'm tempted to go and check the other door in the cabin, because that was all led from how Abigail died. I'm assuming we can't open this door. No, we can't. It was super. It was super cute. He will always be monkey. He will always be monkey. He's a good lad. Oh shit! The doom. Hi, Eve. Right. Oh, he's just cut me back to this one. Well, at least I know I can get back to them pretty easily just by clicking on the thing. Right. Now, did you say this guy died? Oh, I can't click on. The space bar, so I guess I can't like confirm that he's he's not dead in this scene, so we'll leave out of here. How you finding it, Wen? Yeah, it's interesting. I'm intrigued. So let's go below decks, I guess. Let's go handle a big old deck. Um You've what? Okay. When he's going to do some sleuth work. Um, oh, the goat got out. Possibly eaten by a, uh, a, oh, a giant piece of hentai. Second kebab confirmed. Right. Oh. There is some fucking dead people over there, so we'll just wait a little. Okay, that door's stuck because there's a tea towel in the way. Can we not move the tea towel? Move the fucking oh. Fine, all right, we'll go this one. It was a double take when he did it. Just, are you stupid? It's a monkey. <laughs> it was. It's definitely great. Right, so we've got a dead person here. Um, that we're going to check on who's had bad cannon time, should we say. Um, oh. Okay, there's another person in here who has had leaky bedtimes. Um, oh, okay, there we go. Can I open that door again? Good. So many fucking dead bodies. Right. K. 
Okay, this. No, no, no. Door, please. Okay. No dead person in here. No dead person in here. Who wanted their fucking bedroom like this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go chill out. Go to sleep. Enjoy the fucking cannon. Okay, no more dead people along there. There were 60 people on board, Rob. Of course, there's a fair few dead people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. Toilets. No one down on the shitter. That's always a Brucey bonus. Okay, locked door. Okay, no one dead in here. How do you get to the lower deck? Hmm. <laughs> How do you get below? Below. Um, I guess we'll have to look at the other dead people and then once we've looked at the other dead people they might show us a way below <laughs> now we wait for Wendy's return the return of the Wendy Din um, but how's your guys' weekends been? What have you guys been up to? You been up to anything good? Anything interesting? Um, and Finn, I never actually asked you if you're still around. What were you playing and how was it going? Because I, I was lurking in your stream, but I was, as I said, in a, in a Discord meeting, so I didn't have time. I think it was is Resi, possibly? I do be very good. I'm very glad you do very good uh, pastry. I'm glad you haven't got the horse herp. Yeah, which I believe is the issue that you've had recently. Uh, it was my sister's wedding yesterday. How did it go, And she Was it great? And you got lots of booze. Um, Resi Zero, she was playing her first real foray in the series. <sighs> Shit, the bed. Obviously waiting to build up to play the best game in the series, Resi 6. The peak. Um, it was very good, and we had sunshine. Nice, literally nice. Um, I kill you. Uh, thank you, pastry. Uh, it was a lovely day, I'm glad. Right, Wendy, we found a person who's had canon-related difficulties. Oh, no. Bar was paid for by my dad. Fucking make the most of that shit, did not you? I found brothers... Find your footing. He fucking didn't. Oh, boy. Yeah, feet! Yeah, feet. He had a bad time. Oh, so this is directly after. So we were up there a minute ago watching this from below. Yeah. So this is during the Kraken shenanigans. <laughs> oh, that does not look like a good way to go. Oh, is that the guy? That's the guy stood next to the guy who was doing the killing upstairs. Oh, there's another, another guy down there who's got no head. Uh, no idea who that is. I saw my, my parents for the first time in two years, um, and my mum used the lathe in the workshop, which I really enjoyed. That sounds great, sort of suspense. I'm really glad that you got to catch up. Who is this and how do they die? I don't know who they were, but they got crushed by a cannon. Bad times for you, sir.
Okay, so... Yeah, we've got this person here. Some real clumsy people on this ship. I fucking are, you know? You know what? I'm... Right, I'm tempted to pop back into that one because it looked like there was other people dead on this one. So I'm going to go back in here and see if we can uncover... Uh, it'd be the Sea of Thieves in the So that guy got fucking crushed. This guy was already dead, and there is lots of like hentai going on outside. Um. What? There is. Okay, so there isn't any other dead people. So we had it's good to check. So now we can jump onto the next guy, who was like minus a head. Oh, the fuse! Oh, oh! So that cannon went off and blew off his fucking head. Yep, and that's where the. Yeah, and that's the guy that got crushed by the cannon. And there's the guy who's going upstairs to go and get fucking eaten in half. It's cool that we're like slowly piecing together like all these these people. Okay, so yeah, he was well and truly fucked. Oh, is there another person that's crushed under there? Can we get them? I can't. It do be, indeed. Maybe you can um, go find the body. Yeah. Um. This person, how did they die? Um, shot by a cannon. Or you could do decapitate one. Oh. Yeah, it just says decapitated. Shot by a cannon. By an unknown attacker. Oh, so they're saying they're claiming that that person killed that person. Well, technically by the beast, I suppose. Mm, we'll leave that one, yeah. Yeah, and this person, how did they die? Oh. Is that the person that's crushed by the cannon? Let's go back out again. Well, let me zoom on this guy that's been L squished. Go back to uh, the present day and find the skeleton instead. There is another skeleton that we haven't checked out, but I th because the watch is shaking. Oh, here we go. Oh. oh, yes, all right. There he be. Sounds like more delicious as far as can I? Oof. Oh, so the squid crushed him with a cannon. And... That's the guy who got decapitated by the cannon. Yeah. Oh, 
No, that's that's not the guy that got crushed by the cannon. This is the guy that got crushed by the cannon, isn't it? Or is that? Oh no, that's another guy. Else, yeah. yeah, this is another nerd that got fucking fucked up. Damn, everyone getting straight up fucked by this this squid. Hmm. Right, so in that case we need to go and That was crunchy indeed. Everybody died. Mm. Who is this now they how did they die? Uh cr so, crushed Crushed by a cannon. By a cannon? Even though technically it was the squid that was squishing him. Well, the, the squid kind of reached in and L squishered. So it is that guy. That was the right guy. This guy is someone else. Well, I think that's it because the, the the watch isn't wobbling. So that's Boogaloo. Okay. But then I had a wander around here while you were indisposed, and there was some people dead in the cabins. Um. So if we go. Is it down this way? Oh! I haven't actually found this person up until now. This is a new find. It's got so many squids in chat. I think they may have had something to do with how these people have died. When... <laughs> he's having a poo! Oh, he's having a poo! Ah! Oh. Oh, I feel, I feel you, mate. I had a long barbecue yesterday. Oh, no, he's not having a poo. Maybe he started having a poo and then he just got squeezed out like a tube of toothpaste. E.S. Oh, so he's the artist. Oh, no. But we have him in the record, so we can go thing there. Poo or wank? No, uh, that's not a game show. I'm so glad we didn't have that in a flamboyant way. Um, I was like, is that artist having a poo? It's that guy. And that guy who was involved in the cannon shenanigans. And who are these two? Potentially the captain. And um, maybe a cabin boy? There's ever ever growing squids in chat, I'm concerned for our safety, Wendy. On the bow. Um, unknown soul, it's not, it's, we saw the artist, where was that? Uh. Artist, E.S., Edward Spratt. Met his fate, crushed by a beast. Nice. Captain was below deck when the Kraken attacked, indeed. So it sounded like something from uh, um, Avatar, The Last Airbender. Oh. Shane. It was also like a... Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well done. I could... Oh, there's a person upstairs. Apparently. Or I've just... I don't know what the fuck I've just done.
was a person that's been found dead, I guess. Oh, we're going on a fucking magical mystery tour again. Or is the captain the Kraken? Oh, mate. Body, you bloody dame. Huh? How is that? Dame. No cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Huh? Or I forget. You killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Oh, shit. So he thought he'd kill his brother and kill him. That, guy. <laughs> that is the perfect expression to that situation. Oh shit. What do I do? What the fuck are, what the fuck do I do? I think. Awesome. Yeah, some other little guy peeping. Some comments made in that in the dialogue, which I think we might have got his name. Um, oh, body, Dane. Hmm, so he was Danish. Yeah, because it's got on here. Austria. Um, Persia, England. Denmark. Lars Lindy. Okay, I think he's the only Dane. Looks like it. Yeah, and he was clubbed by an unknown. Yeah. Poor Lars. I'll buy this nerd. Right, okay. No, I think the, the watch isn't rotating, so we're just going to scoot you out of the door. Why do you fucking put all those nod checks on there, motherfucker? <coughs> <coughs> Disappearances. Seven wayward souls disappeared during the event of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. I imagine they got all, all got eaten by a fucking kraken, but wouldn't you say when? But we'll leave it for now, because we don't know that for sure. Murdered or dropped a cannon on them or fucking shit themselves to death, you never know. Oh, that door actually opened since we've been down there because I did try and open that um, door earlier and it was like rattling like it was locked. So maybe doing certain of these little whizzes through time 
unlock extra stuff, so we've done all them. Oh, is there something in the cup? That's that guy we found. Oh, yeah, that's that same guy. Alright, let's try this door. Now there was a there was a dead guy in one of these rooms, I'm sure there was. Not in here. Ah. Here we go. He got leaky. And came in here. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh no. You're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I. I tried my best. Aye. Mm -hmm. To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <coughs> Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. Right. Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. So where's. That, is that Brennan there then? I don't know. Or maybe oh, that's that Brennan. Who's just fucking. Club two other people to death. Oh no! Oh! What the fuck happened here? And then that guy stumbled through, spilling all his juices everywhere. And that's a Scottish guy, right? We're just gonna. Can we? Can we not? Can we not click on this guy? Tab. Here we go. Oh, is that that guy who shot an officer? No, he's... Which one was he? Was he that one? Is this shot yeah, so that's one of the guys that shoots the captain later on. And if that uncovers him as Scottish, we then might get his identity. Escape. Escape what? Who is this? How I died? Oh no! Tell Pete's mother I tried to pull him back to save him. So, uh, stabbed. Would you say knife? Well, we don't know if it's a knife or not. Was there a knife there in him? Knife outside, the door. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah, so this is the guy that says shot officer. Now, there's a Scottish guy there. One. Abigail was Scottish. Oh. Duncan McKay. So there's. Two more Scottish guys. Three. Nice top man. He's wearing a captain's hat in the game. Maybe he is one of the first mate. William Hoscut, you mean? It's not, it's not really like a captain's hat. They're all wearing like fairly... Yeah, but don't, but don't the mates like, wear the hat as well. So... Because we thought that, that that or that was going to be the captain, and they're not the captain. He even could be the... Mm, no, he can't. Because this one who committed suicide... Yeah. He's, he's got like a coin on his hat. Or yeah. Like but he wasn't the captain because he said he's sorry he shot her brother and her no. brother was the captain. No, I know, but I'm saying... No. I'm saying that he's the first mate. That one so you think he's the first mate? Yeah. So you think he's... But that means he's Scottish. Oh, no. Hang on. The, sec the second mate. I, I, I think we're guessing now. 
Hey noobs, how you doing? We're trying to figure out what the fuck is going on here, so... This guy is Scottish, but that doesn't really help us too much. This guy has been... Stabbed, we reckon. Did you say, I thought you said there's a knife outside. Yeah, there's a knife outside. Where? Yeah, when you go past corpses. Mm -hmm. As in, when you go back to the present, when it's a corpse. Yeah, but that knife could have been put there anywhere, anytime. Oh, he got stabbed around here, I guess. Baby is uh, relentless. How are you guys blessed? Yeah, all right. One second. Um, and bless you, noobs. I understand babies are an absolute mission, um, but I appreciate you turning up anyway, and I uh, hope you're doing okay. Yes, Wendy. Wendy. When? When? This. That's just his hand. Yeah, it's literally just the sound. No, he's... Looks like he's got potentially a knife in him. Maybe? Yeah, so I'm going to change that guy to not necessarily stab by a knife. We don't know how he was killed, really. We know he, he leaked. Uh, is there a lot of bled to death? Hmm. Unknown. Teething has died. Oh, noobs. Yeah. Well, it's good. Good work. Um, but yeah, it's not. It's not ideal. How's the potato? The potato is fantastic. Thank you. Um. Indeed, we do miss you. That's that's a true story. All right. So we'll go through here. Open the door. All right. So, yeah, there is a knife there, Wend, and it is in like a little patch of blood, but we don't necessarily know that might have been that Scottish guy stabbing someone else. Oh, there's that fucking smoke. Smoke, there it is. There it is. Oh. Let's go into the murder most foul. <laughs> oh. So that guy is clubbing that guy. This guy's crawling back. Oh, he has got a knife in his back. So we can confirm that this guy's got a knife in him now, so. So we can go. How he met his fate? Stabbed. Confirmed. Stabbed. Okay, and this is that Scottish guy that's coming from downstairs, upstairs. This guy's just a fucking brutalistic fucking clubber of men. And this guy who had a gun. Oh, so he might have been shot and stabbed. Unless he shot this guy. Or oh, this guy maybe looked like he's been shot. Oh, it looks like he yeah, it does look like he shot him in the face. So maybe that guy stabbed him, and then he shot him in the face, and he clubbed him? Jesus, this fucking conga line of death. <laughs> Who is this person? Not a fucking clue. Why is this damn fool? Um... Didn't make an unknown fate, it was clubbed by unknown person. <coughs> so now we can get this person. You can see the smoke like hoot all and land next to that person we found dead. So if you haven't seen this before, noobs, we're playing Return of the Overdin. It's a game that's been done in a retro style, but it's actually a new game. It came out last year, 
Um, and uh, it's effectively a murder mystery. Me and Wendy are going around trying to figure out what the shit has happened in here. There's Wendy. And, um, yeah, we're trying to find out how the, the, everything went so wrong on this ship. There's been a Kraken attack. The cat, what, a person shot themselves after having a big epic fight with other people? So this is the guy, he's already cr crawling, so that already was guy running, this guy's been fucking sprayed like a champ, um, by the guy who gets clubbed to death by... Is that the captain, do you think? No, I don't think that's the captain. He yeah, he shouted mutiny because they were planning to overthrow the captain. Um, right, can't sit there, but maybe we can get on the upper deck. That's the guy who went around fucking clubbing everyone to death afterwards. That's the Scottish guy. What the fuck's going on over there? There's a guy being thrown over the fucking overboard. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, shit. And there's this guy who's got a real bad headache. Oh, shit. And then, yeah, look, there's a person being fucking yeeted overboard. God damn. I know, right? Yeah, in a second. I'll just have to log this guy as being shot in the fucking face. Uh, shot. You can hear the game sounds though, if you have that on. Mm -hmm. Okay, six others were present. Let's back out. Yeah, and then there's this, whatever the fuck's going on here. Yeah, what is this? So there's that guy, and this guy, whoever the, this guy is. <laughs> well, apparently we're now getting his... Death, so we'll release him out of the clock. So I'm to this guy. Off. Okay, so he's being shot by this woman here. Um, and he's also already dead. Who the fuck that guy is? And he's been killed by him, I would assume. So there's another couple of people down there. Maybe this is part of the mutiny? Person who's dancing with Abigail. Oh. And is that... That's the guy who... Slayed a shit ton of people and then killed himself. Yeah. Who's this guy? Creeping in. Damn. Death. Hmm. Uh, how did they die? Shot in the face. Yeah. Oh shit. He's alive in Africa. No, that's not why I asked. Uh, shot. 
gun by an unknown attacker, but it was a lady. Which. Yeah, and it wasn't Abigail. And then we've got, uh, here we go, passengers. So there's Abigail. And then there was some unknowns as well. Emily, Miss Jane. Oh, no. I'd say it's probably one of them too. But we don't know. You're gonna get a shooty in the booty! You're gonna get a shooty in the booty. Alright, so... All this shit was kicking off all at once. So... That's the guy who got his fucking head shit blown off and then... That guy came over and sh shoved them overboard. And we'll have a look and see about this guy then, I suppose. Yep, just fucking land there, you silly dust. Land. Land. There's that fucking firework going off over there. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last one. Pull. So that guy got shanked. By this guy. Oh, so she shouted, Paul, look out. So he's potentially, yeah. That, no, so she shouted to the guy who got stabbed, I reckon. So I would, I would be willing to guess that that guy's called Paul. And then that guy got shot when they came by her who got a fucking musket and blew his fucking head off and then they're all then on their way and this guy's just fucking sneaking up the rigging like a fucking sneaker nerd can't do a rolly backstab on Dark Souls So I'm willing to guess if he's if there's only one Paul on the register, he's Paul. If you you're okay with that. Yeah. Who is this? All uh, right, we only have one Paul. Paul Moss. Welsh. Yeah, there's only one Paul. So... Paul Moss, there we go. Uh, and was killed with a sword by unknown dude. Oh, it's still... It's got the shakes. Someone else dead around. something going oh hello yeah that's that person who got heard and heard tried to run and got stabbed this person who's very sad about something that guy who's the one that got his head blown off and this guy who's just straight up fucking dead potentially the captain Gone, dust. Take me downstairs. Follow the beef dust. Yeah, come down here. Go through there. You want to go there? There you go. Get in this chair. Get to the chair. There we go. Right. Twizzly clock time. Do do. Put me down. Let go. 
easy now. You're in a bad way. It's the squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Not that. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that. <coughs> Thank you, MG. For nothing. Speedy hammer time. Yeah, so I'm wondering whether on that, as the squid was leaving, one of those last squid scenes might have been the captain coming up the stairs so we can identify the captain. Ah. Um. Is that him? No. Yeah, yeah, but this is not the squid, is it? Like, it's not. This is. Unless we assume that that guy shot her brother and then we assume that her brother was the captain, maybe she's married to that guy and he killed her brother in a different circumstance. Maybe he is the captain, because they did call him the captain when he was sh um, when they burst through his door and he shot a load of people. Right, I think he's Austrian, whoever this guy is, so we can see if this guy's linked to anyone else. Um, so, unknown soul, Austrian, could be Alfred. Oh, there's another Austrian, Christian Wolf. <laughs> Right, so the other Austrian is a bosun. Um, I'm not sure what a bosun is, to be honest. Uh, let me down, let me go. Where is my Frenchman? No, I don't think, well, I don't think so. Maybe the, the bosun... Ah, the bosun's mate is a Frenchman. Charles Minor. So I reckon he is Alfred Clestel. Yeah. And he's the bosun. Yeah. <coughs> but, I don't know how he died. Um, maybe he got killed by the Kraken? Uh, the squid. Where's my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart, so we know what happened to his his mate as well. Yeah. Um. He was torn apart, yeah. Yeah. But... <laughs> Yeah, maybe he was the bosun's mate. And he and in fairness, his arm's been torn off. So Met an unknown fate. Right. Have his arm fucked off by a squid? Is that a list? Um, torn apart? Mm, not really. Um, I'm sure there was like a fucked up by squid option. Torn apart? Ah, oh, torn apart by beast. There we go. Oh, 
Well done. Three fates correct. Oh, really? Nice. Nice. Same as Edward. Sprat. And Abigail. Chat. The fucking bus going this shit. Hell. <laughs> nice. No fucking clue. I'm assuming we have to get it all the way round. Take care, Miner Jal. Much love and thank you very much for stopping by. Well, I think there's no shaky. Shaking MacGuffins going on. So I reckon we're, we're clear to leave this bit. Night night. Night night. Okay, so we missed four of those in that scenario. Right, that's that woman who shouted at Pete. Hire the detection room or just to deduce a person's identity. Is there a lady moss on here? No, it's not as simple as that. Right. I'm tempted to go and have a look at one of these people who, when the captain was on the way up from the. Um, yeah, he was being eaten by the squid. Okay, it wasn't. Oh, but we can label that guy as the bosun's mate if you want. Yeah? So we'll put him as bosun's mate, Charles Minor. Yeah. Hmm. And there's all these people that were. Um, that person was killed by the squid, I think. But it was a latter point. Is that the captain? Oh no, he was clubbed to death. Uh, actually, that doesn't necessarily mean he's not the captain. And he stood by the firing squad. What do you think? You think that could be the captain? Yeah, and he's now coming out. That guy's now coming up out of the hold. The hold. Okay, okay. Well, I think that's potentially the captain. We'll leave that for now. We'll, 
See if we can find some fresh dead bodies to shed some extra light. That's where I'm now going. I don't see if there are any more dead bodies that we were stashed. Because we found obviously Mr. Drippy in there. Uh, no one in here. who's the first mate who's dead. So yeah, I think it is time to go below decks. Oh, that is a mess right there. Can you go further down in the ship? Indeed, that's what we are now doing. I'm assuming you type that literally as you like. Oh, he's just done that. Um, yep, ignore me. Hey, I'm never. Yeah, there are some rooms, so... Oh. You can see in here in the little windows. Right, let's go back to the. Oh, hang on. There's a dead body down there. Shazam. <laughs> Heavy breathing. Is he being shot from? What is what is that? Is that a giant spider? That is some kind of giant. Sp oh, it's a spider crab. He's been shot by his mates who are being eaten by the spider crab. Who the fuck wants to go on this ship? What guy? I'm assuming so. Him? I don't think that's the postman's mate, I think that's a different person without a shirt on. Soldiers of the Sea. Shoot the damn thing. So this guy... Is there an accidental shooting? Fuck being on the ship, he has zero luck, exactly. Ooh. Shot with a gun. Yeah. Shot with a yeah, gun. Um That's as far as we can go with that guy. Now we have to scoot all the way around and out to find out what was going on with this fucking... all this horrible shit. Risk assessment showing this ship should be shut the fuck down, exactly. Oh, that guy's shat his pants and is hiding in his room. Um, how about that? Oh. That guy looks like he could be dead, actually. Oh, he's spiked! He's fucking toast. That guy's looking nervous. Oh, there's another, another one of those things on the floor, I think. No, the doors are shut on this timeline. But I'll be getting in there very shortly when I check Mr. Spiky McDead. Oh, 
Hmm. Right, let's check Spiky McDead. Yeah, go on, go on, you fucking dust bunny. Fucking show me. Pinned to the chuffing wall by a giant crab. That's the one. That's how I want to go. Dust, just fucking go. Here. Dust. That's a that's a reference of data. I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. I'll get you down. Oh. This guy's being a bro, trying to help him, trying to get him down. This guy's just fucking off into the lower decks. Oh, it's that guy who's doing, who thought his mate was murdered. Oh, fucking hell, there's all sorts of shit going on here. That's Mr. Nervous Guy, who, when that what murder was going on, was just looking nervous. Oh, yeah. This dude with a hat, who's got a grenade, I guess. There's a dead person there that's laying on the spiky crab. This person's washing the spiky crab. I'll get you down, don't move, buddy. Dead already. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so that crab. What's that? Oh, hang on. Wood was in. <coughs> no. But you can go back to it afterwards, because this is specifically about pinned to the wall crab guy. So we don't know what happened to him, but he was um, pinned, spiked, yeah, spiked, I would say. Spiked by a terrible beast, yeah, that's 100% right. Right, we've got this dude here who just looks like he's had a rough time. Ah, oh, so you reckon that guy who got shot through there, do you reckon that's the brother of this guy who got shot? Because you remember he said, oh, I didn't mean to kill him, I killed him by accident. Let's check out what's going on with this dude. <coughs> Go on, dust. Fucking beef dust it. Land. Land there. Literally there. I don't know what you're fucking about. Just get on the floor. Get on the floor. Please. There we go. Here we go. Let's see what happened with the queer. Oh no. So that's him getting fucking shanked by a crab. It's that guy stabbing it, so he's the, the fucking baller bro that fucking murdered that thing. This dude's just like, oh, fuck it. I'm just covering my eyes. I'm gonna get blood in them. That's Mr. Panic Face. That's El Murdero. He was on fire. Yeah, he does seem like he's on fire. Um, so he's immolated plus spiked by a horrible beast. Um, oh, there's another fucking two dead people here. Decapitated. Lovely. That dude's shooting this way, and they're both just like peeping. Oh, unknown soul. Okay, we, we can't determine that person, but he was. Again, spiked, I would say, wouldn't you see? Let's 
Oh, we've got a fucking smorgasbord of dead people. Do you want to go with this person? Yeah. I wonder if that dude who got like, shot by accident down that way. No. Okay, right, let's do this person. Oh no, the game is basically went like, no, not him. You want to go and check out this person, these people instead. Okay, game, sure. Release the beef dust. Gee, where will it land? Round and round and round it goes. Why? Fuck knows. Clock, 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 quickly, quickly. Uh huh. Do -do. You alright, darling? I think we've got about 10 minutes, guys, because I'm pretty sure when you're sliding into the bin. It's been a, been a long but lovely weekend. It's alright, darling. You don't have to feel pressure. Oh, dear. Oh, they both got fucking decapitated by the fucking crab beast. Oh no! Oh, that's a bad time. That guy, that guy is not okay with the situation he's in right now. It's like I am. Is this guy down here? He's just like, oh, he's he's throwing a burning lantern. He looks really chilled and smiley about being in that situation. This guy's been fucked up and thrown through a post. He's riding on the crab. It, yeah, I think it's like a, a like some kind of ring wraith fucking riding on the crab. This guy's shooting up the stairs at another fucking ring wraith crab. What the fuck? Uh, who is this? We don't know. How do they meet their fate? Um, yeah. Was decap yeah. Decapitated? By a beast? Um, who is this person? How do they die? Uh, decapitated by a beast. Um, I, I'm not wanting to be racist, but that guy seemed to be Asian. So, she's wearing like an apron. Ah. And this one. Yeah. Um, hang on. We've got all... We've got this other crab coming down here. All these other people getting involved. Oh! Another spiked to death guy here. Uh, another one. He's not dead per se, but he's fucking not having a rough. He's having a bit of a shit time. Yeah, let's have a look and see if there's any others. We can see that they're definitely in the fucking bin first. Well, that guy's in the bin as well. Okay, they're just straight up like keep going. No, not that one. Go upstairs and fucking look at the one you want. Or are we telling you to? Will do. Will do, chap. Go, beef dust. Where will you go? Demon. What's going on? Stay back. It's already done for Nick. Hey, He's already done for Nick. Come on, boss. No, get there. Hey, cats. Okay, so that guy just been spiked. But apparently, Nick's already dead. Oh, 
that's that, how that guy caught one in the shoulder. They all shat in their pants. Which, in fairness, if a ring wraith came on the boat, I was stuck on. Fair point, well made. Well, there's another ring wraith crab on his way. And there's Nick, I guess. Or maybe one of these is Nick. He's just hiding by the looks of it. He looks pretty fucking dead. But I'll be willing to say that he doesn't look like a Nick to me. Hmm. Who is this now they that? Well, they were spiked to death by an angry ringwraith crab. But that's about all we know. Right, when are you struggling? Okay, right. Chat, thank you so much for coming and joining us tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure to stream for you guys, as always. But it's where we're going to call it tonight. Now, Wendy's just going to appear up my shoulder, hopefully. You need to come on, that way. Indeed. But thank you so much for coming and joining me. It's been an absolute, uh, a really good one. I'm really intrigued by this game. And I don't know about you, Wendy, but I'm actually really excited to just continue on through this. Yeah. Um, so, uh, not the next Marriage Craft stream, because the next Marriage Craft stream will be community game night. So we'll be doing golf for your friends. We'll be doing um, Unfortunate Spacemen and all that good stuff. Um, but the next one after that, we will be continuing on with the return of the Oberdin, which I'm really enjoying. It's good. Um, such a good game to watch. Grace, I'm really glad you said that because I was re I was very much focused on the fact that I wasn't really communicating with you guys too much. We were more just chatting and just watching and following around. Um, so I'm, I'm, as long as you guys are enjoying it as much as we are. Um, love the style of this game. Yeah, likewise, really, really enjoy it. Um, that was a really cool game. Bigger enjoyed the style. Yes, nice. Um, been quiet in the background lurking. Thanks for the stream, Rob Wendy. You're very welcome, Maelstrom Alpha. Um, it's nice just watching us do our thing. Oh, thank you. Wendy's really enjoying it too. She's typing. There she is. Um, but before we go, um, firstly, I'll say that Discord is a thing. Please come and join our Discord. We are the Vikings of Twitch. Um, and, uh, you know, if you want to catch up, see what, what we're streaming next, see what I'm streaming next, come and join the Discord. It's a really good place to be. And there's a fantastic group of people in there. And if you're not the Vikings of Twitch are, the <gasps> Vikings of Twitch, oh, myself, Matt Ralph, and Raven. Homer are linked here. And we are the Vikings of Twitch. And you also have our community, the fantastic, and some other people in there who are just great streamers. Um, and also, you can come and follow me at the following links, which is here, where you can come and follow my YouTube, Instagram, and all that kind of stuff, where you can catch up on my VODs, where you can actually watch, um, uh, where I, I post up for Instagram and when I'm going live periodically, and Twitter, which literally is just linked to say when I'm going live. So if you want to go and catch that shit, please, blue glue over there, go check it out. And thank you very much my lovely wife coming and joining me on the stream it's been it's been lovely darling it's been nice to play a game together to be fair yeah, indeed um and i think um i am gonna go and raid some some music tonight you know um oh hang on what does that mean what does that mean Oh, okay, so we're going to hang about for a second and we're going to raid a guy who does music who's called Hugo. Uh, now, author Lee put me onto him. He's one of his music chums. Uh, and we're going to raid this guy. And hopefully you guys can hear some lovely music. It'll be a good time. Uh, we go. Indeed, we do, Pastry, to Hugo. Um, he's currently in his 
stream starting straight. I don't know how long that's going to be until it actually starts, but we're going to go and thumb ourselves in there. But uh, the last thing I've got to say is just thank you so much for coming and joining me, and, and it's always a pleasure. Um, streams this week, I have got... This Wednesday, I'll be back in the world of Cyberpunk, where I have a book and friends. Um, and Cyberpunk, um, I just cannot wait to play that game again. Really looking forward to it. And Friday, I'll be making my triumphant return to Dark Souls 3 with my coach, Cowardly Pastry, who is an absolute champion, who's leading me through that game like a beast. No giant crabs will fuck me up anymore. We'll sort their shit out. Um, and then Sunday of this coming week... Oh, that was dank. That was dank. But Sunday of this week coming, you really don't want to miss next Sunday, because next Sunday is the VOT Olympics. Uh, and... Yeah, there's going to be some interesting stuff going on next Sunday, so you should really come and check it out. But anyway, without any further ado, I'm going to head off and leave you with Hugo. But much love. Don't forget to tell him who sent you. Take care. Oh, 